The iPhone 6s is the best iPhone yet, and we all know that, but we also all know that the iPhone is not necessarily the best phone, and especially in recent years, the competition has been blowing up. So here are eight reasons why you should not buy the iPhone 6s, but stay tuned for another video on reasons why you should buy the iPhone 6s. Disclaimer, this video is mostly opinions that came from my personal experience with this device. That's the whole point of the video. You don't have to agree or care about some of the reasons. It's more just food for thought for those considering purchasing an iPhone 6S. Reason number one is that it's just not that much better than the iPhone 6. Even looking past the basically identical design and feel, the new features aren't really to die for. Yes, 3D Touch is an awesome feature, don't get me wrong, but as of now it's not widely implemented and honestly I haven't used it other than to show it to friends when they see that it's the iPhone 6S. But if you are into video, the 4K recording might make it worth the extra money, but you gotta ask yourself if you really need it. You can pick up an iPhone 6 in mint condition for a little over $400, so what it comes down to is whether or not it's worth it for you to spend the extra $200 on the iPhone 6s. Yes, it's a better phone, but is it worth that $200? Reason number two is the price, and on the topic of price, the iPhone is very expensive. And I'm talking big picture here, not just compared to the last generation iPhone. The OnePlus 2 comes in at $380, the Moto X Pure Edition comes in at $400, and even the flagship Nexus 6P comes in at $500. Charging $650 for the baseline model just doesn't make sense anymore. But to be fair, a lot of people are buying it on contract and the price gap is much smaller there. Reason number three is storage, or lack thereof. The baseline $650 model of the iPhone 6S comes with a whopping 16 gigabytes of storage. And to add insult to injury, only about 12 gigabytes of that is usable. Normally 12 gigabytes is actually enough for people that don't use that much storage, myself included, but now with 4K recording, you just need more storage if you're gonna record any videos. And to top it off, there's no expandable storage options, so you're kinda screwed if you like to record video and you have the 16 gigabyte model. Reason number four is that damn protruding camera. With the same protruding camera as last year comes the same problems. No, it will not lay flat on a table, deal with it. Yes, you should be worried about the lens scratching. Mine already did, but fortunately it isn't visible in pictures. Yet. And a new problem I found this year is the paint on the ring around the camera wearing off. I don't know if it's just the rose gold version, but you can see that the bottom half of the ring is now silver on mine. Awesome. Great design, Apple. Just genius. Reason number five is the screen, and I'm specifically talking about resolution here because the overall brightness and colors on the iPhone 6S are actually fantastic. The 6S still sports a 1334 by 750 display, which is just horrible in today's market. I don't think resolution is the be-all end-all on a smartphone, but upgrading to 1080p would make a very noticeable difference. Honestly, I can't name a single other current smartphone over $300 with less than a 1080p screen. It's a matter of simple competition, and Apple is losing. Reason number six is battery life. On the topic of underpowered specs, Apple actually shrunk the battery size this generation. The 6S is housing a very sad 1,715 milliamp hour battery. And honestly, I wouldn't care about the size if the phone lasted all day, but it doesn't. The phone is consistently below 10% battery by the end of the day every single day, and about two or three times a week I have to charge before the end of the day to make it all the way through. And that's just, it's so annoying and inconvenient to deal with. Reason number seven is no fast or wireless charging, and almost every other current Android smartphone supports at least one of those features. The lack of wireless charging is a little annoying, but the lack of fast charging is what bothers me. If the phone lasted me a full day consistently, I wouldn't care about this, but if I have to plug it in to get those extra couple of hours out every single day, it better be fast charging. And you just know that Apple in a couple years is gonna implement both wireless and fast charging and be all like, hey, look at this amazing new technology we discovered when it's been around forever and they should already have it by now. Reason number eight is that the phone is slippery. Look, I'm all for a nicely built and comfortable phone, but not if it means I have to be careful not to drop it 24 seven. When I'm getting in or out of a car, it actually falls out of my pocket without me noticing, and that's very annoying. Remember that camera scratch from earlier in the video? That was from that happening at landing on pavement, which is just very annoying to have to deal with. So if you get this phone, you're basically gonna need to get a skin or a case if you wanna protect your investment. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for the video why you should buy the iPhone 6S. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.